Hello everyone. Welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today I am going to show you how to log into these characters. So as you can see now, I am working freely and when I press the middle mouse button, this character trace for the characters around him and log into that character. So now as you can see, uh, even if I'm moving uh, into another direction, this character is facing the locked character. And if I press the middle mouse button again, it is uh, not locked anymore. So I, I press this one again, he will rotate to this character and keep looking at him. And yeah, that's that. And also I have to fix this moment blend space as well so as you can see this guy is like floating on the ground this movement does not look fluid and natural so I have to, I'm going to fix that and also this locking on mechanism and if the time permits I'm going to do, do both of them otherwise I will do one of them in this video and after that I will do that to the next part in the next video all right let's get started okay so first let's look into this this blend space and as you can see now since this character is following the or, orienting himself to the road uh, to the direction of that he is moving we can't test these areas uh, so therefore I'll implement a simple mechanism here uh, so it would be like locking on to another character when we are locked into another character uh, the character will be facing that locked character uh, not the movement direction right so we already have a lock on lock on function or that it should be under fight attack block where did I implement it And graph and clock on okay here fight under fight we have lock on and this is coming from the BPI uh, character blueprint interface so instead I'm going to add a uh, input because whenever there is a character nearby I'm gonna lock into him with this input so I'll add uh, since we have this lock on function here I don't think I can use the same name let's see new action lock on lock on right and I am going to assign middle mouse button for this action right now let's see if I can implement that here lock on event well, I can't use that. Lock on action event. Right. Okay, so first I'm not. Well, I'm not really going to implement. Okay, let's do that. So. Where is my enemy character? 
here and with the middle mouse button I should lock into one of these characters so how do we get the nearest character first I need a variable called locked on right I already have one for this okay so here branch locked if I am already locked on then I am not going to do anything otherwise right if I am already locked on then I am going to call that function lock on false that means I don't need I'm locking off or oh, I'm not going to look keep looking at this enemy character anymore and if this is false that means I am not already locking into another character then I should lock on and like this but how do we get the locked enemy when I don't I am not driven by an AI controller for this purpose we can do a trace or something like this uh, it should be a sphere trace so we have a couple of traces sphere trace for objects sphere trace by channel well let's see let's uh, put us use one of these and see if that serves our purpose okay mm. so first without this part let's see if this tracing works and the start position should be our position Character location and the ending. Mm. Actually, I'm not sure how to put the put an ending. So let's add some very some radius like thousand and actors to ignore. Do I, it is, is it necessary? To, yeah. Object types. Make object. Okay. Make array. And all ah, right. So for the object types, I'm going to put pawn. Okay. Right. And let's see if this works. Let's see what happens with this tracing thing okay I have some kind of a circle around me and right and oh what is that uh, maybe for the end also I'll put this one for now only for now let's see okay let's uh, decrease the radius into 500 right right okay so I think this dot represents the characters I get okay and so ok 
okay I think we should by this end in end variable we can set some kind of a direction to this tracing so if I can get the forward get actor forward get control rotation get forward vector all right and let's multiply this by some distance so what I'm trying to do is I want to give uh, this sphere an ending in the direction the controller of this character facing let's see if I am correct not sure all right let's ignore that for now just put this one okay and here I think I get out hit actor shouldn't I get many actors for objects Okay, first hit encountered and right. Okay, then I'm going to add to uh, I need to check if this is valid if this is not a valid actor then I shouldn't have a hit so therefore I'll just check if it is an enemy and if this guy is an enemy and branch if the hit actor is an enemy, I'm going to lock into that character. Right. Let's see if that works. Okay. Okay, no hit. No hit. Alright, we got a hit. Now we are looking at that character. let me okay now we are locked into that character successfully and if I press middle mouse button again right I'm not locked into that guy anymore again if I press the middle mouse button yes I am locked into that guy Well, definitely I have to fix my blend space because this character is like floating on the floor and it does not look the moment does not look fluid okay we will look into that in the episode after this one right so let's look into this guy okay Alright, so that's all for today. Looking into the anime character. And see you in the next episode. And the next episode I want to focus on fixing this blend space. And then actual attacking and getting hit. And having an impact after this attack. So like that. Alright, see you in the next episode. Goodbye.